The university released a statement basically saying that the professor's comments were part of a larger point he was trying to make about racism. But some students say they're not buying that explanation. I don't believe in them at all. So don't, you know, please don't assume that, you know, I am teaching that the earth is flat, okay? So uh, let's say our assumptions. Um, I might have an assumption that black people are just not as intelligent as white people. Ooh, I can hear already people getting all riled up, right? These comments made by SDSU professor Robert Jordan during a recent online lecture have some students upset, saying he was insensitive and ignoring the intense racial climate in the country right now. That's just the way that you know, my values are. It, it doesn't mean I'm going to come and lynch you. It doesn't mean that I'm going to like, you know, do something attacking you. It might mean that I won't hire you. A student in Jordan's class sent the clip out to a group of friends, which included SDSU student Tyree Baker. Baker then posted the clip on his Instagram page, which now has over 24,000 views. Initially, I just wanted to spread the awareness of it, but it ended up being viral because he then, after, didn't apologize to the students that he offended. San Diego State University released a statement saying in part, in the 52nd video, the instructor gives an example of a racist view or ideology. Jordan insists the clip in no way represents his personal views or opinions. To be clear, SDSU does not tolerate acts of marginalization, racism, and hatred based on personal background, identity, or color. Hundreds of students made comments, some agreeing with the university and others pushing back against Jordan and SDSU's response. They talk about diversity and but stuff stuff like this, they should they should step up for their black the, their black community or black students that were in that class. And I just think it was just all wrong. Now, I reached out to Professor Jordan and he sent me an email explaining that his comments were taken out of context and that those were not his own personal opinions. Now, if you want to read the entire email response, you can just go to our website at CBS8.com.